more LED delights from eBay, particularly from China. And these ones are special. And when I say special, I mean special in inverted commas, because th this one's rated 240 volts. Well, they're both rated 240 volts. And you don't really want to touch this one while you're plugging it in, because it doesn't have a plastic cover over the front. And when you open it up, you see that the only thing between you and the mains, because there's lots of exposed uh, solder joints in the front here, the only thing between you and the mains is a capacitive dropper. And it's a, it's a typical capacitive dropper. It's the limiting capacitor, the discharge resistor, the uh, main limiting resistor to prevent inrush current, and a little rectifier in the back. And this is all just gunked into this metalized interior reflector, which I suppose it's not a big deal. But what is a big deal is the fact that if you're putting this lamp in and the power's on and you're holding a metal casing or you were met up a pair of metal steps that had at least some leakage to ground, you could get either enough of a shock to knock you off those steps or you could get a fatal electric shock because the only thing between you and the mains when you touch the front of this is a diode. Uh, one Just one of the diodes in the rectifier would be in circuit at that time and a 1K resistor. And on 240 volts, that's going to result in a current flow in a dead short situation of 240 milliamps, which is a lot of current. That is enough to cause uh, your heart to go into a state of ventricular fibrillation if you made a really good contact. So what can I say? They're, they're nice, but not in a good way. They work, but uh, you wouldn't want to leave these plugged into a socket where someone, where a kid might go up and touch it, um, or where someone unsuspecting might try and change the lamp while the power was on. Um, this one is just the same. I've tested it. I've not opened this one because it's glued shut. Normally that doesn't stop me, but I just feel a bit delicate about this one so far. I don't want to burst it yet, but that will happen. Will it happen now? I'm looking for a screwdriver. No, I think it really is glued shut. Hold on. Let's use the force. It's making scrunchy noises. Oh, look at that. It's actually bursting, but I'm not really bothered given given its pedigree. Oh, right here. So, oh, quite a fat capacitor in this one. Yeah, just the usual thing. Um, yep. So, either way, it's got a, a standard capacitive mains dropper, which means that ultimately when you touch that, there's really not much between you and the mains. And the worst thing about this one is that when you screw it in, you're going to actually naturally probably going to hold the end like this and screw it like this. And when you're doing that, your hands are making direct contact with these solder connections at the end. And that just guarantees an electric shock, really. So, um, yeah, well done, China. I'm not sure why you do this. I'm not. Maybe this is standard in China, that they just treat electricity as, hey, let's just leave live wires everywhere. But um, not really recommended. So if you buy some lamps from, from China, make sure they're um, properly insulated. Uh, they have proper glass or plastic covers over them, because otherwise there is a genuine risk of electrocution with these.